Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. So today I want to talk about transparent page sharing within VMware ESXi. I'm sure a lot of you guys are running ESXi servers in their own lab environment. I am running one here for testing purposes as well. And the problem is that for testing purposes, when I need to spin up a few virtual machines, I can run out of memory very quickly on my ESXi host. Now, Transparent page sharing basically enables me to create a little bit more headroom so I can spin up a little bit more virtual machines or at least use more memory than there is physically available on that ESXi host. Because what transparent page sharing does, it's basically a memory deduplication technique. A default, it's turned off with every ESXi installation. And I will show you guys how to enable it and create a little bit more memory resources to run those virtual machines, extra virtual machines on your lab environment without investing and buying new memory upgrades for your ESXi host. Let's get into it. Transparent page sharing is a method by which redundant copies of pages are eliminated. This helps to free up memory that a virtual machine would otherwise be using. Now this is very handy because what it does is tries to find memory pages which, which are exactly the same on that uh, ESXi host between virtual machines and it eliminates the copy so you have more physical memory available and you can overcommit on memory, right? So you can spin up, for example, more virtual machines on that ESXi host or expand uh, memory on existing virtual machines and overcommit the physical amount of memory you have installed on that host. This is very handy in lab environment like I said earlier, my lab environment, I'm running constantly into that problem. And by enabling TPS, I can now overcommit the, uh, the memory usage on that host and complete my testing scenario, my testing purposes. TPS, short for transparent page sharing, is disabled by default. After installing ESXi, you will see that TPS is disabled. And the reason why is because there are security considerations. That means that when you have transparent page sharing enabled, there are possibilities that the memory can from one virtual machine can be read from another virtual machine if there is a vulnerability there. So consider it very carefully before enabling this. Of course, it depends on the situation where you would enable it and how you would use it. It is a very strong tool, however, to uh, be able to optimize memory usage on a ESXi host and save you some money. To enable transparent page sharing, we have to configure two attributes on every ESXi host. That means the advanced memory attributes. The first one is the, the mem.share for salting. The default value after installing ESXi is two, and we have to change it to zero. And zero basically tells ESXi that it is allowed to share pages between virtual machines running on that same ESXi host. So this is the first option we want to change. And then this is not enough because there is another option which will give us more advantage to, uh, to use transparent page sharing. And that's the mem.alloc guest large page option because it doesn't make sense if you have very large pages in your memory, uh, how larger the pages are, the less you will able to duplicate. So let's turn that option off. Default, there are, the value is one and we have to change this to zero. As you can see here, zero is deactivate. Those two options, we have to reconfigure them. And after that, reboot the ASXi server to activate transparent page sharing. Let's configure those options in my vCenter and the ASXi host. This is vCenter running. There is only one host here because for testing purposes, of course. Click on the hamburger menu in the left side and then go to your inventory. You will see your host there. You will have the information on the ESXi host. Click on configure. And then we have to find the advanced system settings. Within the advanced system settings, we have to click on edit because we have to change those two values. Well, the first one is the salting one, the salting option, the mem.share for salting option. Change the value to zero. We don't want it. We don't want ESXi doing this anymore and allowing page sharing between virtual machines on that same ESXi host. So change the value to zero. And then the second option is the mem.alloc 
guest large page option. Change the value from one to zero there to deactivate it. Let's click on OK. And when we've done that, we can see that the option values has been updated successfully. Just click on here. All right. And just to make sure, let's see if everything is in place. The first one is the salting. The value is zero. That's OK. And the second one is alloc guest large. This page, the value is zero. All right. So that's fine. Now we have to restart the server to take to have these settings in effect. Just reboot your ESXi host from here. Power reboot. Give it a reason. Enabled TPS transparent page sharing. And let's reboot the machine. All right. The ESXi host is online again. And well, let's check how we are doing with our shared pages, right? Because vCenter has the ability to show you how much memory is being shared between virtual machines. So if I click on my inventory, on the hamburger menu, click on inventory, then look for your ESXi host there, and then click on monitor. On the monitor tab, on the left side in the column, you have to click on utilization. And within the utilization, if you scroll down to guest memory, you will see a specific option there. It says shared. Well, in my case, everything is zero bytes because this ESXi host is not running any virtual machines. But let me switch quickly to my production lab environment and let's see how it's there. Now, this is my production lab environment. I'm in the same place as I showed you in the other vCenter. This is my production vCenter. I click on my host, click on the monitor tab, and then find the utilization in the resource allocation section. Click on utilization, and as you can see here, transparent page sharing has already saved me 12 gigabytes. This depends, of course, how many virtual machines are you running and how many of that of those virtual machines have memory which can be deduplicated. The more same type of virtual machines you're running, the higher this number will be, and it will save you some space, some extra memory resources you can use for that additional testing purpose you have without breaking the bank, buying new memory, or upgrading your ESXi server. Transparent page sharing. An extra option you have to Enable if you need that extra headroom on your ESXi server without investing in new RAM or without buying new stuff, right? So make sure you understand it from a security perspective for the implications or when you enable it. And as always, if you like my videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you soon. Thank you.